Hopefully everything's gonna go well. Let's begin our first uh, exploration, I guess. Our first mission. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. How long the quest is and your own preferences, but always bring in some food and torches. For the first short quest, try bringing at least eight food and four torches. Uh... We will do that. Uh, and four torches. That's the recommendation that the, the game is telling me to do. Potentially you could, if you want to buy everything. I notice in the game that you have like a different type of resources. Is the shards. Used to tap into overworldly power. But beware. Its other effects cannot be used while vit virtuous. I don't know what is that. I see uh, this. A soothing against the horrors of the darkness. So I guess you can bring your character out of the of the madness. We will find out. Scouting 20%, blah blah blah. Alright, I think we're good. Let's get... Mm. Let's go. Let's just go with the recommendations. Hopefully this is gonna go well. And I think I will be playing the game for a while because it's kinda... I don't know. I've played a lot of games like this one. Like dungeons uh, and stuff like that. And I've been enjoying them, but I, I've never enjoyed... Um games like that that much as this one which is brilliant all right we're gonna have our first unholy battle my audio is a little bit loud uh all right let's see wait what Oh, there is no enemies at the end, or it's just two enemies. The only thing that I can do is cure the blind or bleed, or uh, buff someone. Which in this case, I can buff you. Oh, next is over here. What's going on next? A brilliant confluence of skill and purpose. How are you doing, my man? Next is here. Next is playing Rainbow Six. Next is in a lurk mode. All right, man. No worries. Thank you for being uh, for being around. That is good enough. Do they have any dodge? They don't have any dodge. Um, I can attack and uh, remove bypass stealth. Stealth wasn't a thing. It gives me torch though. I'm gonna feel a little bit weird. Alright, maybe over there I like it a little bit more. It sounded or it felt a little bit too loud. Uh, we can put a, a debuff on the targets. Uh, receiving crits receive chance 4%. I think it's a good idea to pop. I don't know how... Oh, the... the, the yeah. For the debuff, what? Debuff 15%. I think I can I can just range attack VS unholy, they are unholy. Alright, let's hit them with the unholy. Another there we go. Falls. Can I make him bleed? No. I can mark. Can I mark? Deep, deep of target crits. Okay, I cannot do a debuff. I can self buff. For more damage, I guess. Wait, what the fuck? Range. Accuracy 95. 
damage mod minus 80% bypass stealth d stealth self 12 okay i guess i guess i attack and i get like a damage boost yep that's what it is for one battle all right i don't want to heal anything but i can puff it and buff a target i'll be good to buff you there we go uh I mean, I don't have much to do with the current setup, and now he's gonna die. Executed with impunity. Executed with impunity. Seize this momentum. Push on to the task's end. Mm-hmm. Got some resources out of it, which is brilliant. Got a chest. Gonna move to the next area. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Up. Oh, fucking ambush. Well, oh, their debuff is pretty low, so I can do a debuff. Another Yikes. Alright. That's pretty powerful. The light is fading. The current torch lever greatly affects many mechanics in the game. The darker it gets, the harder things get, but the better the reward. Uh, I think I can go for better reward, right? I can do a blight on you. Can I? Can I? 20%? He can dodge it, maybe? Alright, we're good. Uh, your dodge will go down. Really? It dodged my dodge debuff. It actually feels bad. Uh, that's gonna one-shot him. No? Shit! He dodged it again, man. What the hell? I guess I have no other option to attack stealthy. There we go. So now he has no dodge. I can just strike again. Or yeah, we're gonna do this. Give them no quarter. We wanna get rid of the Up, oh, there we go. That went even better. I wasn't expecting actually to do such a damage, but I did. So too will resistance. Go up. How was your day, man? I know that you are in the background, but, uh, you know, I, I don't know how active you are. If only treasure could All right, we got a, go we got a key in case. Corruption. Should I use the torch or should I just... Yeah, we're gonna go on low. The monsters are pretty, pretty high now. And now, the darkness holds dominion. We enter the death. the darkness. I'm gonna buff my character. I'm gonna do a little bit of an AOE damage plus a debuff. They receive a higher criticals, which is beautiful. I can heal, 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 heal you. A momentary abatement. I don't like the fact that her stress is pretty high. Um, there is a chance of a critical. Critical minus four. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go and holy damage one shot. Boom. Back Yay! Changing my rotation. All right. 
Hmm. I can attempt to make you bleed. You have 20% resistance on the bleeding. You may resist it. Or I can cure the bleeding. I will just cure it. Um, and we can stealth attack. He dodged it. Fuck me. Death waits for the slightest lapse in concentration. All right. I missed. Damage VS and Holy, he's human. I can remove your dodge if I successfully do it. There we go. I wanna move you forward. Okay, we are back. Shit. Bleed, motherfucker! There we go. That's a fucking critical. Easy. Easy, easy, easy. This expedition at least promises success. It's a trap. It's a trap. Secrets and wonders can be found in the most tenebrous corners of this place. I think I can pull it off for a better reward. The sanity we go pretty low, that's really good loot. Oh shit, already. There can be no hope in this hell. No hope at all. Unless you can reduce the stress to zero during the quest. Oh, I don't have anything that can uh, reduce that. Hmm. One of my friends just went to the to the shop nearby. Have some time to talk. Nice. How's been your day, man? How's shit going? Terrors may indeed stalk these shadows, but yonder, a glint of gold. Hmm. I'm risking my character's health right now. So how how come you decided to play some Rainbow Six? This game I've seen it on on uh, stream compilation. Most of the people rage hard. It's hard, yeah. Oh yeah. And the bad thing about it is when a character dies, it actually dies, like literally, which is terrible. Alright, oh, I can do a debuff. Your character, like... Like, you are building a character, you are... You are leveling up, you are spending money on him, you do so many things and poof, gone. Because of one fucking stupid mistake that happened or RNG or whatever. It could go bad. I decided to play Rainbow Six because it was free to play last weekend on PS4. I tried it, liked it, then I bought it. All right, not too bad. It's it's a cool game for sure. Like Injury and despondence set the stage for heroism or mm. cowardice. My character is about to die, and I need to do something about it. What I can do if they are unholy, which they are, I can take down this guy probably in one shot, probably. Yep. Be gone, fiend. I need to heal.
I will heal him in hopes that she's not gonna die. She she is like three HP. One attack will fuck he, fuck her up. Also, it was on discount, eleven euros, pretty much for free. Yeah, was it that low? Damn. It would be stupid not to buy it then. Continue the onslaught. Destroy them all. Oh, critical hero on here. That's amazing. Uh, I do want to poison the last guy. Because I don't think I can make him bleed. Or I can buff someone. I will attempt to buff him. And see how's that gonna go. Uh, unholy damage, right? Yep. Boom. 10. Beautiful. And it's time for him. I'm gonna hit him with one of these. Their yes. Formation is broken. Maintain the offensive. Ooh. 70% discount if I am right. Really? And that was for Deluxe Edition, which had all year one op operator for free. I would say you you've done well. You've done well. It's a very good game and especially if you have someone to play with, 100% you're going to have a good time. If not, if you don't have anyone around you, then that that could be a little bit of a problem. You need to, I, th I think, I will say, I think, you have to spend a lot of hours into it in order for you to actually enjoy it, you know, to feel good. Great. I'm trying to do 100% exploration. So far, we are doing okay. She's okay on the stress. I put my torch up. We gathered quite some money. Like, we we are not in a, in a bad place. You're gonna see me raging. Yesterday next, especially yesterday. Oh boy, I was raging. That was insane. Because I lost, like, his some good characters. Witnessed by his own eyes. Uh, and and first so fucking bad. All right. As hopefully we are not gonna lose anyone. I will attempt to play a little bit careful. All right. First of all, we need to buff the unholy. I need to buff this guy over here to do one shots. I need to make the enemies to take more criticals. One character dodged it. I need to heal you. Ouch. And you need to protect yourself. Now, now, um, I will give you damage as well. I'm gonna attempt to, uh, that's gonna be a little bit stupid if I do that. You know what? We're gonna strike, kill this guy. Confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. He's gonna get, he's gonna get attacked. I need, I need to, I need to do something. Please work. Yes. Alright, you can target here. Oh, change rotation because she was like, nope. 
A critical, very nice, alright. He's not gonna die. Perched at the very precipice of oblivion. Okay, it's not over yet. When a hero reduced to zero, they are death door. While in the state, they will suffer stat penalty plus any further damage has a chance to kill them. Hit them to get off the, the death door. Alright, so he needs to get healed. Dodge and miss. Dodge and miss. Up. Stab it. You almost killed my character. Stab it. Yes. Decimated. Yes. Heal for one. I will heal for fucking one. Just so I can get him off the, the death door. She passed the round. She passed the round by herself. As the fiend falls. Hope it was so 50-50 RNG on this fight, it, it, it was ridiculous. Alright. And we are done with the dungeon, 100% completion of the dungeon. Well done, well done. Let's count our money. That That is our first dungeon with our new... Uh, characters with, with with a new start, the fresh start that we did, and we did absolutely amazing. We made five thousand. We got a couple of things that we can upgrade. It went well. Obviously, some of them they are cursed. They have some bad things happening to them. For example, uh, twenty percent healing skills while in camping. He's not a healer. He doesn't do healing, uh, but he can. Uh, it's, it's it's not a bad skill to have addition. Uh, minus 10% max HP. May not me meditate while in town. May not meditate while in town. That's bad. Plus 20% healing received. Plus 20% max HP when wearing no trinkets. Plus 20% healing received when wearing no trinkets. Max HP and 20% healing received. I don't care about that one. Uh, he's... Uh, Wait, he's not the healer. Ah, uh, but sh nah. There is a way that you can lock and keep you those perks, the or remove them now, completely. Like me, you are a part of this place. Over time, some negative qu uh, quirks will lock into place and become severe. Severe negative quirks cause much more to remove in the sanitarium. So that's the difference between them, if they stay too long on them. Uh, and then it, it introduces our two uh, new Fresh places that can remove and the stress. Promise solace to the 